Let's make some delicious Ghanaian jello fries today. Here are the ingredients you will need. And as usual, I'll list them all with their measurements in the description bar below. So please do check it out. In a saucepan on medium heat, I add the chicken, the spice blend, the chicken seasoning, the shrimp cube and half a cup of water. I'm going to grill this chicken but then I prefer to boil it for 10 minutes before I finish it off in the oven. When I'm done boiling my chicken, I'll pour the broth aside. I'll use this broth in my stew base for the jollof. Here's how it looks like after 10 minutes. I allow the chicken to cool down. Then I arrange them into a baking tray or pan. I then apply the chili wrap generously on it. This will go into the oven and bake for 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes to an hour. Now that we've gotten the chicken out of the way, let's make the stew for the jollof. In a saucepan over high heat, I add the oil and tomato paste. I'll continuously stir this for about 5-7 to seven minutes till it's completely cooked. What this does is to remove any tanginess from the tomato paste. Here's what it looks like after 7 minutes of frying. Next, I'll add the blended garlic, 2 onions, 2 green peppers and peppers to this mix and leave it to cook for another 5 minutes. Up next, I'll bring the blended tomatoes and broth and give it a good stir, then leave the stew to cook for about 15 minutes. I occasionally stir this as it cooks so it doesn't burn. The water content in the stew reduces after 15 minutes and the oil starts to form on top of it. I usually add the rest of my spices at this point and then reduce the flame to medium and give it another 10 minutes to fully cook. The stew splatters at this point so be careful not to get burned. It's ready after 10 minutes when all the water evaporates and it no longer splatters. I add the washed rice at this point and stir it vigorously to incorporate everything. Before I add the first cup of water, I'm going to fry this mix for about 4 minutes, stirring constantly. The secret to cooking good jollof is in the water content you put in and the steam you allow cook the jollof.
At this point, I taste and then adjust the seasoning if need be. After five minutes, I cover the rice with a baking paper. You can use aluminum foil or a clean napkin. The rice after 10 minutes, lifting it from the bottom so that the rice on top gets evenly cooked as well. Food is ready! Notice how the grains aren't soggy or too dry either. We just made the perfect jollof. You simply can't go wrong with this. Your loved ones will love you forever if you make them this.